the Yorks who have a land base which is theirs, which except in very unusual circumstances the king couldn't possibly infringe on. Mm -hmm. So there's a very strange business about all this land is owned by the king. It's then given to people. And then there's some kind of strange pullback process going on later on. That, this is beginning to be a really interesting analysis. Re really interesting. Because it creates a, a whole series of tensions about how this mechanism works. And it relates back to the question you asked about, Justin, about the economy. And how the economy is changing in a context where land ownership is being transformed in this fashion, because wealth was clearly transferable in terms of land earlier on, it is not transferable in terms of land mm -hmm. later on. And actually it's, it's a really interesting effect because the um, Chinese trade wares really start taking off in the 11th century. They're there in the 10th. But it really starts taking off in the world. So we should get this diagram and plot the frequencies from Dave mm. of the of the trade wars. Yeah, that'd be interesting to compare that. Well, that's, that's really interesting. <laughs> Additional questions? Thank you so much, that was fascinating. Sarah's from